Paul Gauguin, an enigmatic figure in the art world, was a French post-impressionist painter who revolutionized modern art with his vibrant colors, bold compositions, and innovative techniques. His artistic journey led him from a life as a stockbroker to the remote landscapes of Polynesia, where he found inspiration for some of his most iconic masterpieces. This video delves into the life, influences, and legacy of Paul Gauguin, shedding light on the man behind the canvas. Early Life and Influences Eugene-Henri Paul Gauguin, a remarkable artist who would go on to reshape the art world, was born on June 7, 1848, in Paris, France. Raised in a middle-class family, Gauguin's innate artistic talent emerged at a young age. Even as a child, he displayed a remarkable ability to observe and recreate the world around him with his drawings and sketches. As Gauguin grew older, the allure of the art world beckoned him, even as he pursued a career in finance to support his family. Despite his success as a stockbroker, the longing to pursue his artistic dreams became too strong to resist. Gauguin made the audacious decision to leave behind the comfort and stability of his financial career to embark on a journey of artistic self-discovery. Inspired by the revolutionary works of the Impressionist painters, particularly his close friend and mentor Camille Pissarro, Gauguin found himself captivated by their innovative use of color, light, and brushwork. He was drawn to the Impressionists' ability to capture fleeting moments and the transient nature of existence on canvas. Gauguin's early paintings, shaped by the influence of the Impressionists, depicted landscapes and scenes of everyday life. Through these works, he sought to capture the essence of rural France, portraying the beauty and simplicity of the countryside. Yet, even in these early pieces, signs of Gauguin's desire for artistic experimentation began to emerge. As Gauguin continued to refine his craft, he felt compelled to explore new avenues of expression. This drive led him to incorporate symbolism and abstraction into his works, pushing the boundaries of conventional representation. Gauguin's art became increasingly introspective, delving into the depths of his own emotions and inner world. In this phase of artistic exploration, Gauguin began to use color not merely to depict the external appearance of objects but also to convey a deeper sense of meaning and emotion. He experimented with unconventional color palettes, infusing his paintings with vibrant hues that evoked intense emotional responses. Gauguin's use of color became a tool for expressing his innermost thoughts and sentiments, setting him apart from his contemporaries. While Gauguin drew inspiration from various artistic movements and fellow artists, his unique artistic voice began to emerge, setting him on a path to chart his own course. This period of artistic development laid the foundation for the profound transformations that would shape Gauguin's future and propel him toward his legendary status as a pioneer of modern art. Gauguin's early life and influences not only provided him with technical skills and artistic inspiration but also fueled his unyielding passion to break free from the constraints of societal norms. It was this relentless pursuit of artistic freedom that would eventually drive him to embark on his extraordinary journey to remote lands, where he would find the inspiration to create some of his most groundbreaking and iconic masterpieces. Quest for Primitivism in the late 1880s, driven by an insatiable desire for artistic authenticity and a yearning to escape the confines of the European art scene, Gauguin embarked on a transformative journey that would forever alter the course of his artistry. His quest for primitivism led him on an odyssey of exploration, taking him to distant and exotic lands that held the promise of inspiration and liberation. Gauguin's travels took him far beyond the familiar landscapes of Europe, transporting him to diverse corners of the globe. He sought out experiences that would expose him to cultures untouched by the modern world, where he believed the raw essence of humanity and unspoiled artistic expressions could be found. One of Gauguin's earliest stops was the vibrant Caribbean island of Martinique. The tropical climate, lush foliage, and the vibrant tapestry of cultures influenced by African, Asian, and European heritage served as a wellspring of creative stimulation for the artist. Here, Gauguin soaked in the intensity of colors, the rhythmic energy of everyday life, 
and the interplay of light and shadow that infused the landscape. Continuing his quest, Gogon ventured further into uncharted territories, finding himself in Panama. The lush rainforests, teeming with exotic flora and fauna, enveloped him, igniting his imagination with their untamed beauty. The encounter with indigenous tribes, with their rich traditions and rituals, left an indelible mark on Gogon's psyche. It was in these encounters that he discovered the purity and vitality he sought to capture in his art. Yet, it was the enchanting allure of Tahiti that held the greatest sway over Gogon's artistic soul. Arriving on the island in 1891, Gogon found himself immersed in an Eden-like paradise that surpassed his wildest dreams. The landscape was a tapestry of azure waters, lush greenery, and breathtaking vistas. The Polynesian people, with their graceful dances, captivating music, and gentle spirits, cast a spell on the artist. In Tahiti, Gogon set out to create a visual narrative that captured the idyllic essence of Polynesian life. He sought to peel back the layers of civilization and rediscover the inherent spirituality, sensuality, and harmony with nature that he believed lay at the core of human existence. Through his paintings, Gogon aimed to evoke the mythic qualities of Tahitian culture, revealing a world that seemed untouched by the complexities and hardships of modern life. Gogon's artistic exploration of Tahiti brought forth a series of iconic works that have come to define his legacy. In these paintings, he depicted Tahitian women in ethereal and exotic settings, often surrounded by lush vegetation, symbolizing their connection to the natural world. Gogon's use of vivid colors, unconventional compositions, and symbolic imagery conveyed a sense of otherworldliness and transcendence, blurring the boundaries between reality and the artist's visionary interpretations. Through his artistic endeavors in Tahiti, Gauguin not only sought to capture the raw beauty of the island but also to delve into the deeper layers of human existence. He explored themes of spirituality, sensuality, and the interplay between the individual and the natural world. In doing so, Gauguin created a body of work that challenged the prevailing artistic norms of his time and left an indelible mark on the evolution of modern art. Gauguin's quest for primitivism was not merely a superficial fascination with exotic cultures, it was a profound exploration of the essence of humanity and the intrinsic connection between man and nature. His artistic journey across distant lands exposed him to the untamed beauty of the world, providing him with a wellspring of inspiration that would fuel his creative vision for years to come. Mature Style and Key Works Gauguin's artistic maturity witnessed the crystallization of a distinctive style that defied convention and pushed the boundaries of artistic expression. His innovative use of color, simplified forms, and bold compositions distinguished him as a pioneer of modern art. Central to Gauguin's mature style was his masterful manipulation of color. He employed a palette of vivid and intense hues, infusing his works with an otherworldly radiance. Gauguin sought to convey emotions and convey meaning through color, using it as a powerful tool to evoke specific moods and atmospheres. His color choices were often unexpected and daring, creating dynamic visual contrasts and harmonies that captivated the viewer's eye. The artist's bold compositions further contributed to the distinctive nature of his mature style. Gauguin utilized strong outlines and flattened areas of color, rejecting traditional perspective and depth in favor of a more two-dimensional approach. His compositions were often deliberately simplified, emphasizing the essential elements and disregarding unnecessary details. This intentional reduction served to amplify the impact of his subjects and evoke a sense of visual clarity and immediacy. Gauguin's figures, with their elongated forms and enigmatic expressions, became iconic symbols of his artistic vision. The elongation of the human figure served to emphasize their spiritual and symbolic significance rather than adhering to anatomical accuracy. His subjects were often portrayed in a state of introspection, their expressions veiled in mystery, inviting viewers to ponder their inner worlds and contemplate profound existential questions. Among Gauguin's key works, The Yellow Christ, 1889, 
stands as a testament to his exploration of spiritual themes. This powerful painting, featuring a crucified Christ figure against a luminous yellow background, exudes a sense of profound spirituality and emotional intensity. Gauguin's use of color and the striking simplicity of the composition create a visual impact that reverberates with viewers. Another significant work, Where Do We Come From? What Are We? Where Are We Going? 1897-1898, is a monumental canvas that reflects Gauguin's philosophical musings on the human condition. This sprawling, narrative-rich painting depicts a diverse range of figures, symbols, and mythological references, inviting viewers to contemplate life's existential questions. The vibrant colors, symbolic imagery, and the sweeping composition combine to create a visual journey through the mysteries of existence. In Te Ririoa, The Dream, 1897, Gauguin delves into the realm of dreams and subconscious realms. The painting portrays a reclining figure surrounded by dreamlike elements and vivid colors. Through this enigmatic work, Gauguin invites viewers to explore the depths of their own unconscious and ponder the boundaries between reality and imagination. These key works, along with numerous others, embody Gauguin's unwavering pursuit of spiritual, emotional, and philosophical exploration. Through his mature style, he aimed to transcend the confines of the physical world and delve into the realms of the intangible and the metaphysical. Gauguin's art challenged the viewers to engage with the deeper aspects of human existence, leaving an indelible mark on the trajectory of modern art. Legacy and Influence Paul Gauguin's artistic legacy extends far beyond his own lifetime, shaping the trajectory of modern art and influencing generations of artists who followed in his footsteps. While initially met with resistance and rejection, his unique vision and innovative approach eventually garnered recognition and established him as one of the most influential artists of his time. Gauguin's exploration of color and his bold use of vibrant, non-naturalistic hues had a profound impact on the development of modern art. His color palette, characterized by intense and expressive tones, anticipated the emergence of fauvism, a movement that celebrated vibrant, non-representational color. Artists such as Henri Matisse and André Dirac drew inspiration from Gauguin's use of color, incorporating its expressive potential into their own works. Moreover, Gauguin's simplification of forms and rejection of naturalistic representation were instrumental in the development of German Expressionism. Artists such as Ernst Ludwig Kirchner and Emil Nold embraced Gauguin's emphasis on emotional expression and the distortion of form to convey subjective experiences and inner emotions. Gauguin's impact on German Expressionism can be seen in the movement's bold use of color, exaggerated forms, and expressive brushwork. Gauguin's exploration of primitivism, his quest for authenticity and connection to indigenous cultures, also left an indelible mark on the art world. He is widely considered a pioneer of primitivism in Western art, which sought to transcend the confines of Western civilization and embrace the primal, spiritual essence of non-Western cultures. Gauguin's fusion of European techniques with the influences of Polynesian art and culture opened new avenues for artistic expression and challenged the Eurocentric art canon. The influence of Gauguin's artistic legacy can be seen in the works of numerous renowned artists who emerged in the 20th century and beyond. Pablo Picasso, one of the most celebrated artists of the 20th century, drew inspiration from Gauguin's bold use of color and simplified forms, incorporating these elements into his own revolutionary artistic pursuits. Similarly, Henri Matisse, known for his exploration of color and form, acknowledged Gauguin's influence on his own artistic development. Gauguin's legacy extends beyond specific artistic movements and individual artists. His unyielding pursuit of artistic authenticity and his willingness to challenge established norms continue to inspire generations of artists to push the boundaries of their own creativity. His bold and innovative approach serves as a reminder that true artistic expression often lies in embracing the unconventional, seeking inspiration beyond the confines of traditional artistic conventions. Today, 
Though Gan's works are treasured in museums and private collections worldwide, and exhibitions dedicated to his art continue to attract audiences eager to explore the depths of his creative vision. His ability to capture the essence of emotion, spirituality, and the human experience continues to resonate with viewers, making Gauguin an enduring figure in the pantheon of art history. Conclusion Paul Gauguin's artistic journey took him from the confines of the European art world to the vibrant landscapes of Polynesia. Through his groundbreaking use of color, form, and subject matter, Gauguin challenged the conventions of his time and created a visual language that continues to captivate audiences today. His legacy as a revolutionary artist remains an enduring testament to the power of artistic exploration and the pursuit of authenticity. As we admire Gauguin's masterpieces, we are reminded of his relentless search for artistic truth and the transformative power of embracing different cultures and perspectives. Paul Gauguin's legacy serves as an inspiration for artists and art enthusiasts, encouraging us to push boundaries and explore the depths of our creative potential. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more content like this, please consider subscribing to our channel. By subscribing, you'll be notified when we upload new videos. Thank you again for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in our next video.